Hey everyone, I wanted to go over the new and exciting news that we have for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak on both the Nintendo Switch and on Steam via PC. And I'm sure that due to all of the exciting fourth free title update details that we got during the Capcom presentation, which I'm going to be leaving a link in the description below, if you didn't necessarily check it out already, plenty of good stuff coming on February 7th, Capcom did go ahead and drop a brand new weekly event quest, and this one is going to be bringing us the last of the three third free title of the armor set, uh, the layered armor sets, if you will. I remember that uh, just a few weeks back, we finally started to get them. And uh, this is the second to last event quest. This one is called Shadow in the Storm. If you for whatever reason, don't still don't necessarily know how to get your free event quest or downloadable item packs. Make your way down to the Steelworks or make your way down to the Elgato. Speak to the Courier Cat. Go all the way down to the add-ons options and claim anything that's labeled in white, downloadable event quests, free item packs, whatever the case is. And one of those event quests will be Shadow and the Sandstorm that puts you up against the Kushala de Aura in the Sandy Plains. Now, as far as the quest is concerned, uh, there doesn't necessarily seem to be anything special about this Kushala de Aura. Uh, you're just going to be able to take it down relatively fast. Um, you know, it does like to move around a little bit if you're team doesn't necessarily have the high damage output so it will have a little bit of a uh, maybe a little bit of extra health but even that i'm a little bit hesitant on to say since it ultimately boils down to just what kind of team you're going to be able to take it down there's of course no risen version of uh, kushala Dora for this quest it's just a normal master rank kushala Dora. and once you take it down what you want to be able to do is keep your eyes peeled for the items rewards tab because once again and just like every single free armor set rewards that we get you are looking for one specific item and this is going to be in the quest bonus reward in the third row this is the green row uh, there's going to be a question mark item called the ancient fragment this is a rarity nine item that says a metal fragment taken from deep in the earth still strong and it may be useful now for me personally i had a pretty bad luck with this thing uh, I ended up getting, having to do the quest four separate occasions. The first three times I ended up getting one per. So I kind of assumed that, that it was just um, kind of like you only get one per quest, like as a quest reward. But on the fourth time that I ended up doing the quest, I ended up getting two. So I got a little bit unlucky. I think the RNG is just the way that it is uh, sometimes. And you might still end up getting three uh, if you get lucky. But ultimately, I had to do this quest four times, which was a little bit of a pointless grind. Uh, but all in all, again, if you're looking for brand new armor rewards, this is the quest you're going to be doing. As you finish up and you collect all your five, you know, pieces of these fragments, you're going to need to wait, make your way down to the smithy, go all the way down to the create armor, layered armor options, tap to the right to the special tab, and all the way on the bottom. You're going to notice the purple, I believe that's their rarity nine armor. That's called the origin set. This one is one of the three armor sets that we got revealed for the third free title update. A few weeks back, I put out a video the kind of like covering pretty much all the details from the first time that we got to see this armor back in Generations Ultimate. It was made more prevalent in a Monster Hunter world, and a lot of people just probably haven't necessarily seen it. But finally, here is making his way into Sunbreak. Now, in order for you to be able to craft it, once again, you're going to need not only the five ancient fragment pieces, one for each piece of armor, but of course, you're also going to be needing uh, some Master Rank Kushala de Aura uh, materials. So, you know, the Aura Cortexes, if you have a lot of those, which I did, I've farmed Kushala a few times already. Um, so you're probably just going to end up needing six points for each one of the pieces to be able to craft the Arshian um, entire armor set, Arshian Coil, arching greaves um gloves etc and once you're done doing all that you're gonna have your brand new metroid looking armor set it looks relatively like metroid i'm sure people are gonna uh do the whole um you know pigment armor adjustment thing so it could end up looking like samus of course from metroid but ultimately you know that is what we are dealing here with this is the last free armor uh, layered armor reward that was going to be part of the third free title update. Now, with that said, if you watched the presentation yesterday, for the fourth free title update, they are going to repeat this thing again. So we're going to be able to get, as far as I noticed, uh, two Frontier armor sets and one from an older game. So we're going to be covering that at a later date. I certainly want to put out a video 
cover pretty much all the fourth free title update armors that we are going to be able to get. But this one was the last one for the third free title update. Now, I will say there is another quest that is part of this a week's event quest. We are done with event quest for the third free title update. But that quest I'm going to be covering in a separate video because it requires an entire different discussion. And in this video, I just wanted to cover the fact that, yes, indeed, we have a brand new layered armor set. Sadly, it doesn't have any actual stats or skills or anything like that. I do believe that the Arshan armor set in Monster Hunter World did have stats. There was like an actual stat with skills version of it, but uh, we didn't necessarily get that this time around. I'm not necessarily sure why, um, but it seems to be like that is what Capcom is going with right now. Just layered armors, and they're making sure that every new monster comes with a brand new skilled armor, and they go about it that way. But that's about all the information that I have for you guys today. Hopefully you guys enjoy your Arshian armor. And if you're brand new to my channel, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See ya.